Hello and welcome to another video from the events calendar. My name is James and in this video we're going to be talking about an integration with another really awesome plugin uh, called Restrict Content Pro. So today we're going to talk about creating a membership website that offers tickets to the general populace and also offers tickets to members of your website. So um, this is something that's actually been requested quite a lot uh, from the events calendar from our customers is the ability to create tickets that they can sell to anybody at one price, but then they also want to be able to offer kind of a members only price for the same ticket. So we're gonna show you how to do that. In this video, uh, we're going to be using the events calendar, um, event tickets plus and restrict content pro. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so in the intro, I mentioned that we were using event tickets plus restrict content pro and the events calendar. I do need to mention two other plugins that we'll need. Both of them are free. Uh, one of them is WooCommerce. And the other one is actually an extension that the events calendar team uh, developed that enables what we're doing today, um, the integration between events, tickets plus and restrict content pro. So you can find that extension by going to the events calendar.com and going to products. And then over here, there's a little link that says free extensions. And here's a bunch of extensions that um, were created to you know solve various problems that customers had and these plugins or these extensions don't get the same kind of support that our main plugins do but and we do make sure to remind you of that before you download it um, right over here you got to check this box um, but go ahead and find the members only tickets extension and download that and we're going to install it the same way we do any plugin on a wordpress website so we're just going to go to plugins add new and upload plugin and go find it and install it. I've already done that. Make sure to click the blue activate button after it installs. And then here you can see the plugins that I have. All I need to do now is add WooCommerce. And we'll activate that. Now I'm not gonna make you watch this whole process of me just doing the initial WooCommerce setup. So I'll go ahead and fill out this information that it wants and then uh, we'll get started with the rest. Okay, so now that WooCommerce is set up, we can go ahead and get started with um, setting up the rest of our tutorial here. So we are going to be creating a just a simple event and adding a couple tickets to it. One of the tickets is going to be a general, you know, admission kind of ticket. And then the other ticket is going to be a members only ticket. So only members will be able to purchase that ticket um, at a discounted price, of course. So let's go ahead and get started with that. First, let's go ahead and set up our membership uh, with Restrict Content Pro. So we can come over here to Restrict and go to Membership Levels. And I'm just gonna call this Gold. You know, you can name your membership levels, whatever you want, Gold, Silver, Platinum kind of thing. Um, I'm just going to make the duration um, every month. We're gonna say it's $20 a month, no sign up fee, no free trial. Um, and we'll go ahead and click Add Membership Level just a basic membership level for, for our purposes today. And then real quick, I'm gonna to go to settings and go to the payments tab, and we're just gonna set up our payments. So first thing we'll do is connect with Stripe. And I've already signed into Stripe in my web browser, so I didn't have to do that step. If you're not signed in, it'll just ask you to put in your username and password. And then I'm gonna just choose the account I wanna use, and that's it. We'll go ahead and click Stripe to enable that, and I also want to put it into sandbox mode. Now, sometimes after we save this, we have to reconnect Stripe. Let's see if we're gonna have to do that. Yep, so now that we enabled it and turned on sandbox, we'll go ahead and connect to Stripe again. Luckily, it's very simple. Just a click of a couple buttons. Okay, so Stripe is connected, it's enabled, and we are in test mode. That way I can purchase a membership without having to spend real money. I like you guys, but not enough to spend $20 <laughs> to show you how to use this plugin. So now that we've done that, since we're already in payment setup mode, let's go ahead and also connect uh, WooCommerce. So Restrict Content Pro is now connected to Stripe so that we could collect payment when somebody signs up to be a member. But we also need to connect uh, WooCommerce to Stripe so that when somebody purchases a ticket, WooCommerce can collect that payment. So we'll just go to WooCommerce settings and you don't have to use the same payment gateway um, with restrict content pro 
you have some payment gateway options, you know, Stripe, PayPal, Braintree. With WooCommerce, you have a bunch of payment gateway options and you don't have to use the same one. I mean, most people probably would because it's just simpler that way. But I just want you to know that you don't have to. You could use Stripe in Restrict Content Pro and you could use PayPal or Authorize.net with WooCommerce. It doesn't matter. Just need to get something set up. In fact, I think for WooCommerce, I'm just going to go the easy route and just enable cash on delivery. There we go. And click save. Okay, so we got our payments set up now so that we can go ahead and start doing some testing. All we have to do now is actually create a couple tickets. And then I'll show you how you can restrict one of those tickets so that only members can purchase it. Now, you don't even technically need to use the events calendar. Um, you can use event tickets by itself. You can create some tickets and you can add those tickets to a post or a page or a custom post type. It doesn't have to be an event. I'm just, you know, I'm just using it because why not? Um, so I'll go ahead and add an event. I'm just going to call this, you know, members only ticket demo. The date will say something off into the future. And if we scroll down here, we should see this ticket option. So I'm going to click new ticket. And first I'm going to say general admission. So this is the ticket that anybody could purchase, right? We'll say it's unlimited. And we're going to say this one's $100. And there's some options here, which I'm not going to play with today, but I just kind of want to expand them. I'll let you see them, get a taste of the kind of things you can do um, here with this plugin. But I'm just going to go ahead and click Save Ticket. And then I'm going to create another ticket. And I'm going to call this one Members Only. And members get a discount. So let's say this one only costs $50. And Save Ticket. Now, so far, if I click Publish and we go View This Event, at the moment, both those tickets are going to be visible to anybody, right? We haven't done anything yet to restrict one of them. So uh, I'm going to actually copy this. I'm going to open it in incognito mode just so you can see um, I'm not logged in. And so both tickets are visible. And that's what we're going to change. We're going to make it so this one, you can only see it if you're logged in. So let's go ahead and go back over to here. Now, the thing about event tickets, when you connect it with WooCommerce, when you create a ticket, what happens is, it actually also creates a product in WooCommerce. So typically you don't go into the WooCommerce products and mess around. You would just deal with you know, the event tickets. But in this case, uh, we're gonna actually need to go into the products section of WooCommerce. And I'm gonna open up the members only product. And if we scroll down in here, there should be an access control option here. So. Restrict purchasing of this product to active subscribers only, gold. So this is the membership level we created. And if we had created multiple membership levels, we would see them listed out here. And you might have remembered when we created a membership level, you can give that membership level an access level of 1 through 10. If you did that, you could um, choose access level 1 through 10 here. But we didn't do that. So we're just going to say gold. You have to be a gold member in order to uh, purchase this ticket. And even... To even see the ticket, we're going to say you have to be a gold. Now, you, you might not want to do that. You might want people to see that there's a members only ticket there. Uh, they just can't purchase it unless they're a member. That could be a good selling you know, point for you. It's up to you. You can check this box or not. I'm going to check it and then I'm going to click update here. And I'm going to go back to our incognito window here and click refresh a couple times. And this members only ticket should disappear. Yep, it's gone. General admission only. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna come up here and go to register. That's a page that the Restrict Content Pro plugin automatically creates for us. And I'm just going to create a quick account here. I can sign up for a membership. Choose gold, that's the only one that's available and we're in test mode so we can just put anything we want in here as long as the card number is 4242. And then we just make up a date and make up a CVC and make up a zip code. And this button isn't showing up right now. Um, we are fixing that. In fact, it'll most likely be fixed before you even get a chance to watch this video. So don't even worry about that. There's always gotta be something wrong with a demo. Every demo has one, one little bug. Okay, so now that we have done that, I'm going to go to events which is the page that the events calendar creates automatically. This should show us a calendar. And this is the only event that we created. I'm going to click on that. And now I can see the members only ticket because I 
signed up for that gold membership. So, you know, that's basically it. This is very simple. If you're already using Event Tickets Plus and you've been wondering how you could add a members only ticket, you just need Restrict Content Pro and this free extension from the Events Calendar team and uh, and you can get up and running pretty quickly there. This video, I mean, I imagine that was what, about five minutes. So pretty cool in my opinion. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed this feature. And as always, if you have any questions about this, uh, please feel free to reach out to support. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video.